What's up clowns? Welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we have a battle against Blake from Twitter. And uh, if you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter or Discord. Links is always there in the description below as well as my team information. If you guys get curious as to what mons I'm using and what sets. So we are having an RU tier match. As you'll notice, this is the same team as last video. I just thought it was a really fun team to use. So I wanted to get one more use out of it. So looking at Blake's team, he's got a pretty threatening looking team. He's got the Ariados, the Samurott, which I gotta watch out for definitely, the uh, Simisage, Heliolisk, which is also a problem, the Miltank, which is bulky, could also set up hazards, and finally the Luxray, while looking at my team, if you watched the last video, you would know my team, but anyway, we have the Manectrike, or Man, Man oh, fuck, what is this thing called? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Uh, Nidoqueen, Snorlax, Alolan, Sandslash, Scraggy, Scraggy, <laughs> Scrafty, rather, and finally the Whimsicott. So this battle was pretty fun, guys. I hope you enjoy. All right, so the battle begins, and once again, I'm going to lead off with my Manectric, as my opponent is going to lead off a Charlotte, which is exactly what I was predicting him to do. So I'm going to just go straight for the Overheat. Really hoping I could get a burn here <laughs> and uh, just get rid of his uh, RE dose before he's able to set up anything, but unfort, that is not the case. He's going to get some, uh, or he's going to hang on with his Focus Sash, and he is going to be able to get up these Sticky Webs, so <laughs> that really sucks for me, but I do have a Rapid Spinner on this team. This is like the one time I use fucking Rapid Spin, I swear. I like never use a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner. It's, <laughs> it's honestly pretty bad. You should probably use... <laughs> A hazard get rid of her but anyway I'm gonna bring in Conehead here I do have the rapid spin on this guy so he's gonna go for the sucker punch on the switch obviously not gonna, that's not gonna affect me I'd go for the rapid spin here he does go for sucker punch once again but being a steel type uh, well actually no I don't resist that but it just doesn't do much damage but I'm actually going to be able to kill him with the rapid spin like how often do you see that I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a rapid spin kill in all of my years playing Pokemon that's wild so he's going to bring in the Heliolisk, I'm going to get the hell out of here, um, because I'm Scarfed and uh, I couldn't go for Earthquake there. I'm going to bring out my boy Snorlax here, he's going to go for the Surf, Snorlax is going to basically drink this delicious water here. It does like all of like negative 10% damage. So I'm going to get some lefties back and uh, he's going to get the hell out of here. Um, most Snorlax do carry Earthquake so he's probably thinking I'm going for that, but I actually just <laughs> Body Slam is my only attack. so. I'm gonna go for Body Slam here as he brings in the Mill Tank. I was kind of hoping for a Body Slam Paralysis, but unfortunately I don't get it. And I do get a crit, however, and uh, that crit does a decent chunk of damage. I'm not sure um, because of that damage if he's physical or special, but we'll see later. I think he's a physical Mill Tank, a uh, physically bulky Mill Tank. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna bring in my boy Scrafty because <laughs> Scrafty eats Mill Tanks for breakfast. And uh, he's going to go for the Toxic. I have the Lumberry on Scrafty. So obviously I'm going to be able to get the Poison right out of here. So I'm badly poisoned, but Scrafty's going to munch on some berries and uh, get rid of that. He's going to get some Lefty's Recovery. And then I believe I just go straight for the Dragon Dance here to raise my attack and my speed by one stage he, as he swaps, which was, I don't know, kind of questionable, I guess. But I guess he didn't want to lose his Mill Tank just yet. He's going to bring in his Samurott. And uh, this thing is definitely a threat, as we'll see here. So I go for the Dragon Dance there, I'm going to get my boosts. And uh, here I just go for the knockoff, uh, on the off chance he was like banded or life orb, and we'll see here, he actually was life orbed, but holy shit guys, he goes for the waterfall and unfortunately he crits me, and that's going to kill off my Scrafty, but don't worry guys, I get him back later in the battle, as we'll see. So I'm going to bring back out Rain here. And I think he just lets me kill off Sushi here. Um, he goes for a last ditch effort Aqua Jet. But because he's not Life Orb anymore, um, it doesn't do as much. And uh, as long as Manectric has like 1 HP, we're good. So I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. Unfortunately, it kills him. Um, and I say unfortunately because if you get a kill with like U Turn or Volt Switch, you have to bring in your Mon first and they can adjust to it. So it is kind of a downside. But anyway, I'm going to bring out Nita Queen here. As he brings out the Heliolisk, so I know I know from earlier he has the Surf, so I'm gonna get out of here. Don't want to take that to bring out 69% Cotton, <laughs> the Whimsicott, and uh, he does go for the Surf here. So 
I was a little torn. I kind of wanted to go for the Encore to Encore him in a Surf. Um, but I honestly thought he would swap. So I decided I'm just going to go for the Moonblast here as I believe he brings out, yeah, Broccoli, the, uh, the Semi-Sage or whatever. <laughs> whatever. I think it, the Grass one's Semi-Sage anyway. But this, uh, this Moonblast actually does a lot of damage. Holy shit, I was not expecting that much damage. Um, I only have four EVs and special attacks, so that actually did a decent amount. And uh, he's going to get the hell out of here because he knows I outspeed him. And I'm just going to go for a Moonblast again as he brings in his Luxray. So I wasn't sure what this Luxray is going to do. Um, I didn't know if he was like a Z-move variant or, or what. But he actually activates his Flame Orb, which tells me he is Guts. I'm going to go for the Z Memento here, that's going to lower his attack and special attack. It's also going to heal one of my Mons, so... Once again, Whimsicott is going to commit Honorable Sudoku here, and uh, kill himself off, but heal one of my teammates. So, Whimsicott goes down in Fort, and uh... <laughs> I feel so bad when Whimsicott goes down, he goes for the, the, ah, he goes for the facade there. Jesus. I'm so bad at these post narrations. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to bring in my Manectric here and uh, get back all the way up to full health. And I believe here I just go straight for the uh, the Overheat here. That is going to kill off Scar <laughs> in one shot from that range. So, goodbye Luxray. <laughs> you barely got to do anything at all. Which is definitely good for me because Guts Luxray definitely hits hard. Um, it has pretty solid attack. It just has pretty mediocre speed. But anyway, he's going to bring out the mill tank once again. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. And uh, this turn coming up, I believe, is when I get him back for that crit earlier. So I'm going to Volt Switch out. I'm going to bring out my, my girl, Nido Queen. <laughs> the Queen is here. And uh, I believe here, I'm just going to go straight for... Well, he's going to go for Milk Drink, so he's going to be back up to full health. But guys, watch this shit. This is fucking insane. <laughs> I'm going to go for the... Well, first I go for Stealth Rocks, um, and then I think it's the following turn that shit gets real. So, Nido Queen needs to calm the fuck down. So he's going to go for the Body Slam, and <laughs> Nido Queen gets paralyzed. So Nido Queen is a pissed off Puerto Rican right now, and uh, she goes for the Sludge Wave here. Well, first he's going to go for another Body Slam. And uh, Nido Queen did not enjoy that very much, so <laughs> Nido Queen goes for the Sludge Wave, and crits him and it kills the freaking the mill tank in one shot so that's why i was saying that maybe he was like a physically defensive variant and not a specially defensive variant um if he were if he were especially defensive i don't think that would have killed even with the crit but he's gonna bring in the simis age again i'm gonna let nido king or nido queen go down here sorry i didn't mean to assume your gender here but uh, he's gonna leaf storm me out and uh that is fine and dandy so i can bring in my next mon here as we see he's life orb i'm gonna go into conehead here now here this play i actually calged it and earthquake had a chance to kill him from that range but unfortunately for me knowing my luck because i'm chad uh he lives on like one <laughs> so unfortunately alolan sand slash was going to be able to clean up here because because i'm scarfed i actually outspeed his heliolisk but unfortunately he lives on like one and kills me off with a superpower so that really that really fucking blows but uh, he's going to kill himself to his own life orb, and I believe his last mon is, what is it? Okay, it's Heliolisk, that's right. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring in D uh, DJ Khaled here. I know that I can basically eat any attack that this thing wants to go for, even if he's like choice uh, specs. He goes for Grass Knot for some reason. I thought he would go for either like Thunderbolt or, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Like, I just thought that was a weird choice, but anyway. I'm going to go for the Body Slam, it's not going to kill him. He goes for another Grass Knot, and I go for another Body Slam, and that is game. Good game, Blake. This battle was pretty interesting, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So, leave a like if you did, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, hit me up on Discord or Twitter if you want to battle. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Peace out.